All right, everybody, this is part two. This is the gunny bear. We're gonna pick up where we left off. Um, I really like to use the kicks and, you know, you got streets coming out and all that, but the OBO samples. I mean, this is all heat up. This is all heat up two expansion packs that I'm using. So this Bulletproof right here, this is a free one. You can actually download this free one and it has, you can make like really sick beats just off these. You have percussions, you have percussion claps and you can totally tweak them however you want. A snare clap, I really enjoy that one. Um, I'll go ahead and pull the percussion clap and get started here. And as you can see, I like to label everything down. So you got the chorus down, put the drums down. And this is like very, very, very simple. This is like a really easily two-step beat. And with this two-step beat, going over and over again, you kind of want to listen, listen to your levels and uh, start to adjust everything. Um, I apologize for not putting up the sound. I just wanted the visual quality to come through so you can kind of see what I'm doing. And then you'll kind of hear how fast that sample was at the end. Um, all the music that you're listening to currently is made up with Heat Up 2. So anything that you're hearing that's cutting underneath me right now, that's all current beats that I made. So with the clap, put another percussion clap there. And you really want to set it, you know, how you, you're going to get a good feel for it. So I would set it so it's off, off something off like that, especially with the drums that I was doing. But if you want something that's just, I guess that's going to come more within rhythm, then you would want to move that clap up. want to set it somewhere around there and just let it loop over and over again. You can get really, really, really creative with FL Studios 20 and Heat Up 2, which is now Heat Up 3. The skin does look a little different and you can do more things hands-on with Heat Up 3, but I really enjoy using FL Studios piano and everything that it has on its program just because it's real basic and I'm real used to the features because I've been using FL Studio since 9 when they introduced Edison and it had a little bit of latency and 10 they really started to nail it so I stuck with that one for a while but 20 is just it's just fantastic I'm gonna go ahead and use a hi-hat here from FL Studios and go ahead and plug that in and if you noticed, after I added that hi-hat or the high snap, then I'm going to go ahead and fade it uh, left to right just to get something real crisp so it really does sound different. Then we go back into the packages, go under the drums. We'll go into the hats, and then you want to hear that nice tick. I think FL Studio does a really good job with that. It does sound a little broken, but you can tweak it up a little bit. And one thing you're going to notice that I do to get that, I guess it's that, um, like that Georgia sound or that southern beat that really like goes over and over like trappish, is you're going to want to start cloning everything. So you want to clone clone it so you can really turn it up so it gets that machine gun effect and you're going to also want to clone it again so you can get that down tune effect okay right there with the feed if you notice with the feed I didn't turn it up all the way 
That way, it just you really don't get that much interference. So you get that machine gun effect right there on that 808 channel two. And you just kind of want to like mess around with your highs a little bit, make them sound a little bit different. With the OBO samples, you do get a lot of the highs, the hi hats that come real mainstreamish, and they're already like preset where they sound like fantastic. So. But right there, I want to down tune that last one with the machine gun effect. So you go ahead and pitch it down. And I do keep it all in the same channel. And if you want to get technical too, you can also go to where the velocity controller is on the piano and you can lower your, your highs from there. That way you don't have something that just kind of comes up at you and that's basically why it takes so long to make beats it's because you you get done with it and then you kind of master it and then when when you're actually done with it and you render it then you hear it it's just like it wasn't the same as it was in the program but i'm going to go ahead and i'm, I'm going to let you know in advance that the one of the next tutorials coming up I'm going to show you exactly how you can go ahead and mix that where you don't have that problem. I mean, this is such a simple beat. I really, really don't make beats like that. I'm just trying to give you the visuals as best I can so you can see, see how uh, Heat Up 3 would just go perfect with FL Studios 20. And with the tempo, like I always mess with the tempo afterwards. Like you get you get a certain tempo in your head and you're like, okay, that sounds great. And then you end up adjusting it to where you can actually lace it. Because when you're making beats, you do want, you want some, something in your head's got to go when you're making a beat. You can't just, well, you can just kind of like, you know, go out and make whatever kind of beat you want and just go from there but if you're lacing down your own beats rapping over them then you're going to want what you you and uh, like visualized that's what you want to come out when you're doing heat up too so a lot of the flangers they got a lot of good presets that you can use and you can just like tweak them up from there the phasers again they have like some awesome names for it and I, I just want to say that the mixer on FL Studios 20 is just so fantastic you can really link and chain everything you can, you can get really really creative and have presets where all the colors come out perfect and it's just, if you're already using FL Studios and you're still on 12 and you can't get used to 20, you need to get used to it. Because it's just, it's, a, it's just the best program out there. And that's about it. So this is the beat that we went ahead and made and it took about, I don't know, somewhere close to 16 minutes just to get like a little bit of a sample and then render it. And I'll see you guys soon. This is part two. This is the Gunny Bear. We're going to pick up where we left off.